Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire, Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. This story is connected to EncroChat. It is one of several that the police have said they've discovered crooked police officers that were using EncroChat as a way to commit crime. This police officer is on trial at the moment and has been accused of being part of an organised crime group that robbed drug dealers, cash couriers. PC Kashif Mahmood, 31, Ian Gurgel, 33, Moshin Khan, 35, and the Shabazz twins were all charged with conspiracy to acquire criminal property. PC Mahmood, currently suspended from duty, was alleged to have been at two of the incidents where hundreds of thousands of pounds were stolen from organised crime groups and the cash couriers that transported the money. And PC Mahmood was a willing participant. He had travelled to Dubai on several occasions with the Khan brothers and they were alleged to be part of a drug dealing organised crime group with links to the city. Shabazz Khan was facing charges of possession of criminal property for having 50 grand in cash and possession of 20 kilos of cannabis with intent to supply. Lisa Rose said this matter is in relation to a serving police officer who was recruited by an organised crime group and involved in the supply of Class A and Class B drugs. The officer was used to intercept cash from other crime groups. Mr Mahmood is a serving police officer. The co-defendants discuss Khalif Mahmood as a willing participant. When arrested in April, he provided a statement claiming he was under duress. £35,000 was deposited into his bank account that he holds with his wife. Six other incidents have been identified. He travelled to Dubai numerous times last year with both of the Khan brothers and on the 28th of April he was arrested during that. In his police locker a notebook with addresses of two people that had been intercepted on the 28th of March and the 25th of March and also evidence suggests that these incidents were reported by the cash couriers to the police. In one event Shavaz Khan is seen approaching a car and dressed in what appears to be police clothing including a stab proof vest and attempting to stop the vehicle there was 20 kilos of cannabis seized altogether with large sums of money at the address also they said this is a case where material from encrypted phones was obtained and that supported the evidence against the defendants as part of a wider operation. Large quantities of money are said to have been intercepted by the crime group, hundreds of thousands of pounds. The conspiracy is said to have took place between the 1st day of January 2020 and the 8th day of July 2020. So the whole of 2020. So basically probably when they hacked their encro. The charges were brought against an investigation by a Met's Directorate of Professional Standards Anti-Corruption Command. PC Kashif Mahmood, 31 from Harlow, is charged with conspiracy to acquire criminal property. Ian Gurgle of Newham is charged with conspiracy to acquire criminal property. Moshin Khan from Ilford is charged with the same offence. And the Shabazz brothers are charged with the same offence and also possession of cannabis with intent to supply. They indicated no pleas and were remanded in custody and will appear at the Old Bailey on the 5th of August. So this story is definitely shocking for the main reason of it being a police officer and then also it being connected to EncroChat. With the case that I covered of Dan Ameson, the Manchester police officer who was growing large amounts of cannabis and distributing it in Manchester. And the police have also said there's a lot of different police that have been involved in the same conspiracy. So it'd be interesting to see how many more cases we're going to get like this. Another recent case where involved a Metropolitan Police Officer has been charged with being part of a far right group, the National Action Group, which is banned. Benjamin Hannam is 21 and he's from North London. He was charged with five offences, including belonging to National Action, a banned organisation. He has been charged with two counts of false representation by stating he was not a member on an application form when he joined the police force. The serving officer, who was on a probationary period, also faces charges of possession of indecent photographs of a child and also possession of a prohibited image of a child. So this police officer was not only a secret racist, but also, I, I, I don't even want to say the word because it will 
the video is going to get limited anyway. So if you want to support the channel, please join the channel. The detective in charge of the case says it's extremely serious charges for anyone to face and they fully understand and appreciate the deep concern it may be for the public that a police officer committed these crimes. So these are just a few examples of the disciplinary actions. As I was trying to be fair with all the stories that we do on the channel. So I really do appreciate you joining me today. And I'd really appreciate it if you leave a comment. And don't forget to like the video. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.